Hey everybody, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about disc angle and we're going to help you fix your problem with throwing nose up and get you straighter, farther, and more consistent drives. Let's get started. All right, so today we're going to be talking about disc angle. The three things that we're going to talk about are going to be your grip, your wrist angle, and then your reach back. These three things are gonna affect the nose angle of your drive, and if we fix those things, it will hopefully help you throw more consistent drives. So the first thing we're gonna start with is the grip. So when you are gripping your disc, you wanna make sure that you feel like the disc is full in your hand. If it's loose and flimsy in your hand, it doesn't really matter what your angle of your wrist and other factors are. The not having a good grip on your disc is going to affect the disc angle as it's coming out of your hand. So you want to make sure that disc feels nice and full in your hand and, and you have a pretty confident grip. There's going to be a little bit of give, but you want it to feel full in your hand and you want to feel like you have a pretty confident grip. You don't have to squeeze the disc super hard. You just want to make sure that it feels full and it's deep in your hand to have a good consistent throw. The next thing we're gonna talk about is going to be your wrist angle. So there are two things that affect your wrist angle and we're gonna talk about that. So the first one, when you're reaching back, you're gonna notice here, the big mistake that I see with a lot of newer players is their wrist angle is actually up. So as you're coming through the shot, your disc angle ends up being nose up. And what that does is it causes the disc to kind of put on the brakes right away and it's gonna cause the shot to rise and then hyzer out early. So if you notice your shots just kind of rising and then hyzering out, you're losing a lot of distance and consistency with your shot because you're throwing nose up. Even um, players that have been playing for a while, I still notice throw nose up. So another factor that's going to affect that is going to be the rotation of the angle, not just this angle, Angle, but also this angle of the disc. So if you notice if your wrist angle is downward as you're coming through the shot and you then end up on the other side, you're still nose up. So there's two things that are affecting the angle of your disc just with your wrist alone. So you want to make sure when you're in your reach back that your wrist is flat if not pointing a little bit downward this way. You don't want it up at all. You want it flat to slightly downward. And then the other thing is you want to make sure that your wrist isn't having a crazy angle this way either. So you want to try and make sure the disc is flat on both of those axes on your axes or whatever you call it on your wrist. So as you're coming through the shot, the disc comes through nice and flat. When you're changing the angle of your shot for hyzers and anhyzers, you want to change your torso, not your wrist angle and your arm. You want to allow your body to see, you want to still be kind of throwing the same shot and allow your body or your torso to bend and that affects the angle of your shot not your wrist so the third main thing that's going to affect the angle of your disc is going to be your reach back so as you're reaching back you want to make sure that you're kind of starting below the flat angle that you're throwing so you start reach back low come up go to flat and then throw because if you're reaching up high when you're reaching back what happens is as you're pulling your disc in you pull it in your body just kind of naturally does this thing where it launches the disc upward afterwards you're, you're pulling down and then you air bounce your shot i see a lot of people do that so your disc kind of comes in like this and then you just air bounce as you're throwing and you end up throwing nose up so i have found that starting at a lower angle coming up to flat and then throwing flat is the easiest way to make sure that your shots are going flat. So the last thing I'm gonna talk about is what it feels like to throw with a better nose angle and what to kind of think about, things to try to help fix your nose angle. So there's two things you can kind of think about. So as you're coming through the shot, yes, it kind of feels like you're almost throwing into the ground at first when you're used to throwing the nose up shot. So the thing to think about is your thumb. So as you're coming through your shot, the thumb should kind of almost have like a downward pressure on the nose of your disc. And as you're following through the shot, you want your thumb to guide the disc almost kind of in a downward motion. Because if you think about the thumb in that direction, it's gonna help you keep the angle of your disc and the nose downward. So if you think about that, try it out, feel it. It should help with keeping the nose of the disc down. So one last quick tip for all you forehand players. It kind of works the same, uh, but slightly different. But when I'm throwing a forehand, I'm always gonna be kind of on a hyzer angle. And I notice a lot of players, they're still throwing like super nose up 
and it's a hard thing to figure out, but the same thing goes with a backhand as with a forehand. If you think about the thumb, and as you're coming through with your shot, kind of keeping the thumb in that downward angle, it's gonna help you keep a flatter shot because this is also affected by this angle and this angle as well. So it's really hard to control the angle with a forehand and really getting that flat shot. But if you think about the thumb, putting that downward pressure and kind of throwing it in a downward motion, it, it's kind of what it feels like, but it helps you keep the nose of the disc down. Uh, I have found that uh, learning the forehand nose angle is a little bit harder than the backhand nose angle. So just try it out and see how it works for you. So that's gonna be all I have for you today. Real short video just on nose angle. I had a few people asking me about it. So I just wanted to go over it really quick. Uh, the videos I'm going to be posting are going to be a little bit more spread out. I'm actually um, working a lot right now and I really just haven't had the time to upload anything and I have a backlog of a lot of things that I need to do uh, with videos, but I have a lot of cool things coming up for 2021. Um, I'll probably be posting like an update video to kind of give you an idea where the channel's going and my disc golf career and everything like that. So thanks for stopping in and watching. I hope it helped you out in some way. If you have any questions, just leave me a message or a comment below. Uh, but until next time, thanks for stopping by.